Introduction When we observe a plant, then we see that every plant has roots, stem and leaves. Plants also have flowers and fruits. We have already discussed characteristics, types, modifications and functions of roots and stems. Now we will study leaf. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to find out characteristics of leaf, find out venation in leaf, study types of leaf, identify phyllotaxy, study modifications of leaf, understand functions of leaf. The leaf. The leaf is lateral, flattened structure born on a node of the stem. The leaves are the food manufacturing organs of the plant. It bears a bud in its axil. The axillary bud later develops into a branch. The leaves originate from the shoot apical meristems, which are small, isodiametric, and thin walled and are arranged in an acropetal order. Leaf consists of three main parts leaf base, petiole, lamina. Leaf base is the lowermost part of the leaf by which leaf is attached to the node. Leaf base bear two lateral small leaf-like structures called stipules. The petiole exposes the lamina to the sunlight. The lamina is a flat, thin, broad and expanded part of the leaf with veins and veinlets. The middle prominent vein is called midrib. The sites of lamina form the margin and tip forms the leaf apex. Veins contain the vascular tissue and act as channel for the transport of food, water and minerals and the skeletal of lamina. Venation The arrangement and distribution of veins and veintlets in the leaf lamina is called venation. The two main types of venation are reticulate, parallel. Reticulate. When the veins are irregularly distributed to form a network, it is known as reticulate venation. Parallel. When the veins are parallel to each other within a lamina and do not form a network, it is known as parallel venation. Types of leaves On the basis of incision or identation, leaves are of two types. Simple leaf and compound leaf. Simple leaf A leaf is said to be simple when its lamina is entire or is incised, but the incision do not reach the midrib in pinnate leaf or do not reach up to the tip of petiole in palmate leaf. Compound leaf A leaf is said to be compound when its lamina goes down to the midrib, rachis, or to the petiole, so the leaf is broken up into number of segments called leaflets. Phyllotaxy The arrangement of leaves on a stem or branch is called phyllotaxy. It results in the orientation of leaves in such a way that they receive maximum sunlight to perform the photosynthesis. It is of three main types. Alternate or spiral. Opposite, world. Alternate or spiral. A single leaf arises at each node alternately. Example, Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Opposite. A pair of leaves arise at each node and lie opposite to each other. Example, Calotropis procera. World When three or more leaves arise at each node and are in whirl or circle. Example, Nerium oleander. Modifications of leaves Leaves are modified to perform functions other than photosynthesis. It is of following types. 
tendril, spines, food storage, tendril. Tendrils are thread-like green structures which are sensitive to touch and are capable of coiling around the support. Examples Pisum sativum, Smilax, Gloriosa, etc. Spines Spines protect plant from gazing animals and also reduce the area of transpiration. Examples Opuntia, Aloe, Argimone, etc. Food storage. Food is stored in the leaves of Alium kepa. The leaves become fleshy and juicy due to a storage of water, mucilage, and food material in aloe and portulaca. Functions of leaves. Leaves have following types of functions. Primary or main functions. Secondary or accessory functions. Primary functions of leaves Photosynthesis The principal function of the leaves is to manufacture organic food. The seat of photosynthesis is the green cells of leaf having chlorophyll. Transpiration The loss of water from the leaf surface is known as transpiration. It is necessary to create force or tension in water column and thus cause ascent of sap. Gaseous exchange. It takes place in leaves through stomata during the process of photosynthesis and respiration. Secondary functions of leaves. A storage of food in leaf bases. Example, onion. A storage of water in the leaves of succulent nature. Example, bryophyllum, aloe. Protection. Secondary functions of leaves. Protection against browsing. By modifying into spines, leaves protect plants from grazing. Examples, Opuntia and Barbary. It reduces rate of transpiration when modified into phyllol. Examples, Acacia. They help in climbing the plants having weak stem when modified into tendrils and hooks. Examples, Smilax. Reproduction. Secondary functions of leaves. Leaves help the plants in vegetative multiplication. Example, bryophyllum. Secondary functions of leaves. Leaves act as balances for floating when modified into roots. Example, salvinia. Secondary functions of leaves. Sexual reproduction. The leaves are modified into sepals, petals, stamens, and carpels to take part in sexual reproduction. Did you know? In Carica papaya, petiole is hollow, tubular, or fistula. Victoria Amazonia has largest leaf, diameter of about 1.8 meter. Longest leaf is of Raffia vinifera of about 10 to 15 meter. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Leaf is a lateral outgrowth of stem developed exogenously at the node. Leaves are green in color to perform the function of photosynthesis. Leaves exhibit marked variations in their shape, size, margin, apex, and extent of incisions of leaf blade. Like other parts of a plant, leaves also get modified into other structures such as tendrils, spines for climbing and protection respectively.